Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Now this car can only be purchased at the used car dealer and it is currently being sold for 80,300 credits. Now as many of you may or may not know, this uh, the used car dealer rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day. So uh, this car may or may not be available to you to purchase at the time that you watch this video, but it will eventually return to the used car dealer and rotate back in and be available for purchase. All right, we're going to click on this car and go over some of its specs to start. First, the car comes stock with 410.71 performance points. It's an FR drivetrain, meaning that the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle and the rear wheels drive the car. It comes stock with 219 horsepower at 4,000 RPM. The weight is just over 3,600 pounds, and the engine is naturally aspirated. Now I'm going to click on Learn More, and we'll see what Andy has to say about this car. The Pontiac Firebird was built to compete with the Mustang. The high-performance version, called the Trans Am, gained widespread fame in the movie Smokey and the Bandit. Despite the oil crisis of the 1970s, Pontiac elected to retain the large V8 engine in subsequent designs. This particular model is the second generation Firebird Trans Am that came equipped with a 6.6 liter V8. You can call it the Chevrolet Camaro's brother because both were built by General Motors. The two cars were historically called the F-Body Pony Cars. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car from the used car dealer. So we're going to back out to the main menu now and go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more. I'm going to click on change car. We're going to come down to P for Pontiac. And there it is. Pontiac Trans Am. All right, I'm going to click on this car. And we'll listen to the startup sound, and then we'll learn some more about it. All right, we're going to click on car collection, go to this vehicle, and we'll read this description about it. Made famous by Burt Reynolds and Smokey and the Bandit, this was one of the leading 70s muscle cars. Pontiac was the sporty, upscale brand of General Motors, and the model which helped define the division in its heyday was an American muscle car called the Firebird. It was created to take on Ford's ultra-popular pony car, the Mustang. Many vari variations of the Firebird were produced in order to compete against its famous rival, with Pontiac making the cars faster and more luxurious. The top model, Trans Am, was a car enthusiast's dream. The name of this top-of-the-line model, which ended up becoming more famous than the original Firebird name, was taken from the popular sports car racing series. The Pontiac Trans Am, with its giant Firebird sticker garnishing the hood, became a revered muscle car and a classic American automotive symbol of the 1970s. The final 1978 model of the second-generation series was available with both a 400 or 403 cubic inch V8. The big, high-compression, 6.6-liter mill was an engine exclusive to Pontiac and was not available in its pony car brother, the Chevrolet Camaro. The brass at Pontiac figured that instead of aligning the Trans Am with the Camaro, they were better off developing a special engine unique to the Firebird. Also, the car possessed a four-headlamp design instead of the customary two, which differentiated it from the Camaro and other GM products. The car was a great hit, and the Firebird Trans Am lives on in infinite lore as the car driven by Burt Reynolds in the movie Smokey and the Bandit. Alright, some great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. Now we're going to back out to the main menu once again, and we're going to stop at the cafe and see if anybody's there to talk to us about this particular car. And in this instance, there's no one here. If there was, they would be next to this trophies icon, but not to worry, we're going to make one last stop at the tuning shop, and I'll show you everything that can be done to increase this car's performance and power. Now here at the tuning shop, under the sports category, everything here is available for purchase and can be added to the car. Under club sports, bore up and high compression pistons are not available to be added to the, tra the Firebird Trans Am, but everything else on this page is. 
Under semi-racing, no turbochargers and no intercoolers, but everything else is available for purchase. And under the racing uh, category, stroke up is not available, neither is the anti-lag system, but everything else with the exception of some of the higher end uh, customization items such as the fourth stage of weight reduction are available for purchase and can be added to the Trans Am. So as you can see, I have been doing some extensive uh, modifications to this car. Uh, not quite everything is purchased, but quite a bit, getting it up to 564 performance points. That's everything we can learn about this car, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you to, to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.